Hello and welcome to Talk Tech. I'm Kristen White and joining me here today is Lynn LeBlanc, co-founder and CEO of Fast Scale Technologies. So Lynn, tell me about your product. Well, we have the coolest product you've ever seen. So um, the, the, the basic idea behind the Fast Scale Technology is that we allow organizations that have thousands or hundreds of thousands of servers to manage all of the software infrastructure in a completely automated and fully dynamic kind of environment so that you know if you're a big web farm or you're a big data center that it becomes basically uh, again a fully automated process end to end from the time you first build up a software environment to getting the thing deployed onto either bare metal virtual machines and do this literally in seconds. Great. So can you describe a typical or an example use case of your technology? Sure. Let's say, for example, that you are running a, a great big website, right? Then the traffic is going up, it's going down. Hopefully your user base is growing really, really rapidly. So the number of servers that you need to bring online fluctuates quite a bit, right? right? During the day, during the week, hopefully during the year, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, the thing about this is there's usually thousands or hundreds of thousands of servers potentially in the background that have to then respond to that fluctuating demand. Sure. And this has really led to the buildup of massive amounts of infrastructure that's really, really costly. So anything that customers can do to be able to reduce the number of those servers while still attacking the traffic you know, expansion and contraction in right. an automated way is a huge plus. I see. So how does your technology accomplish that? Well, it's magic, really. <laughs> um, no, not really. So <laughs> we, have a bun we have a bunch of really smart algorithms that help us to know exactly what any given application is going to need so that we're able to deploy only a minimal environment that's very, very small. Okay. And when you have a small environment, that means that you can provision it very, very quickly. Again, literally in seconds. Okay, and this is all enabled through virtualization, right? Well, interestingly, we're one of the one of the few companies that attacks both physical and virtual infrastructure. So in some cases, virtual servers are, are the perfect solution for customers. In other cases, they're really needing heavy duty performance, and so maybe they need all physical infrastructure. And FastScale is able to manage both, both physical okay. and virtual, or a combination that get deployed on the fly. I see. So it's my understanding that if a user wants to use an application, typically you have a desktop um, with all kinds of system resources supporting it, but mm -hmm. your system basically um, provisions a virtual machine that has kind of a stripped down version, basically stripped down system resources just to support that application so it's faster to provision. That's correct. But one of the very nice things is just like op like operating systems um, need to interact with applications, a lot of times you have demands on the fly that you couldn't predetermine. So by maintaining a software repository of all the files and all the components, that prevents you from having to test your application to death because all those resources are available, whether they're provisioned on the front end or needed in process. So I we see. get the best of both worlds that way. Okay, so if they're needed in process, are they stored on a on a server? Basically, if, it, if your system is being used in, a, in an enterprise setting? Well, if you can, I have this diagram, that okay. handy diagram back here that you can check out. And so we have a large database of all the software components. Then on the fly, we'll build this tiny dynamic application bundle that's provisioned. That gets then provisioned in a lightweight manner onto either a physical or a virtual machine, but we always have that heartbeat back to the database so that if I any see. file was needed, if it wasn't provisioned, then you can go retrieve that. And it's, again, it's seconds because we're now provisioning megabytes rather than gigabytes. Sure. So what's your relationship with um, VMware? So, VMware is both a customer and a partner. Okay. In fact, they were one of our earliest customers, which is how we knew that virtual, virtual environments had some of the same rigorous requirements and demands as physical environments. So they have a certain product offering, mm -hmm. and um, you have kind of a great system where you kind of strip away the resources that are unnecessary mm -hmm. for an application. What's to stop them from incorporating that um, as a feature in their product offerings? 
Well, I think there's several things. If, if you look at the history and evolution of VMware, they've introduced a lot of technologies that have to do with moving the software environment around. They've really not attacked, nor has anybody, frankly, before FastScale, man automating the management of what goes into that container to start with. Okay. So, of course, if you're, if you're starting a company, you want to make sure you have all the patent protections that you need to sure, protect sure. your IP, which naturally we did before we before we started the company right. but uh, i think in in today's in today's climate nobody can build every single part of the infrastructure and sure. so partnering is a, a a very common practice so what's your pricing structure look like so we are we are packaged and really focused on on high end requirements and so we license together in a perpetual model both the repository and the fast scale server, which is software, not hardware, that with all the intelligence. And then separately, we license server packs for a number of simultaneously provisioned servers. So this enables customers to be able to scale based on requirements. So you mentioned that you've been selling or distributing this for about a year. Mm -hmm. So how long has the company, has FastScale been around for? So we founded the company in January of 06. And we spent that first year really building our technology, getting the company funded, and then getting ourselves in a position so that we could launch and take this to customers. Sure. So are you are you venture backed or yes, angel we are. funded? Um, we have three um, venture capital firms that are involved in funding the company: ATA Ventures, Letter Letter of Series A and then Leapfrog Ventures and Hunt Ventures also participated in that. So tell me a little more about your personal background. So I um, am very old. You might not know because the resolution isn't all that good. But I started in way back in the early 80s with IBM where I was for about 10 years working on big mainframe kind of deployments. Then I came out to Silicon Valley in 91 and pr was part of a couple of different venture-backed startups, and luckily we got ourselves acquired, which was, which was great for us. And then I spent a number of years both over in the communications sector at Octel Communications and in the EDA space at Cadence Design, and then um, moved into sort of a hybrid IT and high-performance computing area with Linux clustering over at Skilled Software, which is where we first started to see a lot of the issues around manageability. And that really led us to where we are today. Great. <laughs> well, thanks so much for being on the show today. Thank you very much for having us. <laughs> it was a us. pleasure having you. Likewise. <laughs> and thanks for watching Talk Tech. Hello, my name is Richard Offer. I'm the VP of Engineering of FastScale Technology. And I'm going to give you a quick demo of building an Apache web server in a minute. First of all, you select your dabs which is the, the, the applications that are available to me. I can type in the new application I want to run. It's going to search the repository and find me all available applications, all, all available versions of that application. I'm going to select one. I'm going to select the operating system kernel that I want to run it with. I'll take that one there. I give the ob object a name. And now I've got a recipe for building my DAP. If I want to provision it to a machine, I go over, I pick my machine, and I say, I click build. Now at this point, it's building all the application dependencies, the, um, the, uh, the configuration files, the shared libraries. It knows what machine it's running on, so it knows what hardware is required, so it can work out what drivers are required by the operating system on that particular piece of hardware. And this all takes a couple of seconds. And now it's finished building it. So all I need to do is to power on the machine, or reboot it in this case, and what it's going to do, it's going to download that new image, it's going to start the service, and then it's going to be available. And so that would show that we've defined a new application, and we've provisioned it to a, to a new machine in about a minute. That's it for the demo. Um, if you want more information, please visit our website at www.fastscale.com, where you can sign up for one of our regular webinars. Thank you.